guys and welcome back to the channel. So yes, we're finding it's a bit done on our 72 state. So if you haven't already, please go check out the teal blue one. Um, Pete mate, she's pretty happy with it. We're at the point now where she's basically ready to go home. Uh, so she can be enjoyed for the summer. So please look out for it shows, give it a little little uh, nod and stuff like that. And obviously have a look at it. It's a, it's a nice little car. She's not perfect, but it's how they should be. A nice usable little classic. So be sure to check that one out, but for now, there is a few videos in the playlist for this one, bits and bobs, but we're going to basically run through as much as we possibly can in this video. It's going to be a bit bitty, um, but one thing we're going to do is swap these back doors out. So we don't, as much as it looks good, obviously, because they match the rest of the patina of the vehicle, they're a bit too far gone. Um, if you haven't seen the previous video, basically they're so far off at the bottom, we're getting fumes coming in at the back and stuff like that. So there's nothing cool about that, that's your safety. So we have a crap, but not as crap set of doors, which I'm going to swap out onto this vehicle. Um, so that'd be quite cool. Um, but other than that, we're actually going to need some parts. So yeah, we're going to need to find some bits. Got a number of jobs to do on this car. Wait a minute. Ah, Mini Mine's been again for delivery. So we've got a box of bits here. Loads and loads of little bits and bobs to do on this car. So the rear doors, I'll film in a sec, we'll swap them out. But we've got like a box here full of little bits and bobs for this vehicle basically. So I'll run through now what we've got. So in here we have got a new handbrake cover, nice and easy. There's also some washer jets in there. So they're the twin washer jets, they look like the originals but they've got twin jets on. They're not actually for this vehicle, they're for the sidewalk, but I put them in the same order. Um, we've got a handbrake cover, so period correct 70s one. We have got some SU oil, so nice to have in. So I know this car needs a bit of a, a bit of maintenance, so that's decent. We've also got an exhaust clamp, so this is the uprated double bolt one. Anyone who's ever done one of these exhausts knows the little clamp is absolutely a pain in the ass. Um, but this is so really my supply, and it's so much better. So we we'll get the exhaust, it's got a leak at the front, so we'll get that swapped out. So while there was a run through these, all these individual parts, a little bit more detail when I fit in them, but we've got that. We have a set of handbrake cables. One of the cables on this car, as I bought it out of storage, actually snapped. Um, so it was obviously a little bit too far gone. Uh, the other one looked absolutely mint, for some reason this one snapped. So um, on this car we just have two. It has two handbrake cables, it has like two going up to the side of the handbrake, it's very different, but we'll show you. Um, but basically, this is the point of swapping out one, so we bought two, so we've got them to fit. We also have, um, this is a seat extender setup, so obviously not original to the vehicle, but I've got the idea because Pete's actually bought the same setup for his 72, um, and me being a bit taller, I, I want to get a bit more comfortable in the car. Um, so these are a stainless setup, come all your fittings and all your hardware and everything to do. Again, available at Mini Mine, don't cost you a lot of money. Um, so if you want to get more comfortable in your car, it's worth going. So I'll show you how you fit them, but basically there's a shape flops into the actual bracket and you're, you've got a bit more adjustment. So that's not everything. Be back in a sec. We've also got some oil. So we've got the Morris lubricants. So anyone that knows this knows it's a good quality oil. Um, I've got five liters here. So more than enough to get the Mini up and running. And also um, just a new filter. This being an older car has the Hell of a type, uh, and it all comes with the new rings and everything like that, oil rings for it, all in the box. So, yeah, absolute buzz on that. So, we've got quite a few little jobs to do. It's not going to go in depth how we do them. Um, anyone that's in minis knows how to service their car and stuff like that. Um, but I'll run through just like a bit of time lapse, put them all in. It's just a case of getting this thing a bit more up to spec. Um, go for a little bit of a check over at the garage, and then, yeah, we know if we can get to some shows and stuff like that. So we're planning on taking it to Himley, planning on taking this one and the sidewalk, and hopefully a special car as well. Um, so that's the plan. So this one just needs a little bit of TLC um, to get it up and going. While I'm out doing this, we we'll just adjust the shoes on the brakes and stuff like that. So that's the idea. Sort the exhaust leak, a good old service, fix the handbrake cable, fit in handbrake color. There's not actually one in the vehicle, I'll show you that. And uh, yeah, try and get more comfy in the car. So a few little bits. First things first, I think, we might have a look at swapping these doors, um, but yeah, we'll get stuck into it. There'll be no particular order to do this. Uh, it's just a case of getting a few bits bolted onto this car. So obviously all these bits came from Mini Mine. They sponsor our channel. Um, if you need any bits for your car, there is a discount code along the bottom of the screen now and in the link description below, along with all the links to Mini Mine. Um, 
you can get 10% off uh, when you spend £15 or more from Minimine to get all your, just you know, if you just need some oil, get your car, they do service kits and bits like that. Um, it's well worth having. It's it just, honestly, just having them guys there, click, buy guys, and you can just get your minis on the road. It's absolutely spot on. So all top notch, decent quality stuff. Um, everything's well made and it's all decent quality. I've bought off them for many, many years. So go check them out, guys. Also, follow on Instagram and Facebook for their updates, post loads of pictures, what's going on in their garage and stuff like that. Top, top people to deal with. So, get all of them. Right, so, oh God, I love the smell of this car. Oh, it smells so good. So, let's start with an easy job. So, I'll sit you guys down in there, point you down there. You can clearly see our handbrake has absolutely no cover on it whatsoever. So, we've got this new one. Let me get into the packet very easy install so this is kind of what the car would have had so obviously you've got one end wide open one end that just slips over the the button and you literally one job done nice and easy so good quality product slides on there nicely and it finishes it off just makes the car feel a bit more complete it's always been missing um, I'll show you while I'm in here the handbrake cables so you can see they have two cables going on to them so it normally has a little union back there and then it splits off and then goes into one into the back of it this is a different setup um, and yeah you can clearly see I noticed it that one's absolutely snapped so a bit corroded the other one looks fine but we're going to swap them out all it is is a, a nut on the top of there we'll thread the new one all the way through from the back obviously onto the back of the drum and then uh, yeah we should be good to go so we'll get onto that job I think maybe next or should we do the doors well let's see what comes next guys yeah the interior of this car is basically finished now um yeah it is what it is in here i really want to get some door cards for it it's the main thing but other than that she looks lovely in here right so i managed to get the old one out uh you can see it there it's a little clevis pin that goes through that joint there didn't film it, it's quite hard to get under there but you can see that started to fray um and it's quite threadbare there so it was going to go this one this is not the completely snapped one um, but then obviously you can see where that joins back up so we're gonna get this new one routed through now I'll show you where it all roots through but I can't get a camera under there to show you guys so basically the clevis pin goes on to that so that's the pin I took out so runs through there and then it connects onto the back of the drum so you can just see where that hose is there it connects onto the back of there then it runs through comes round the subframe through the actual hole in the subframe there and then joins on and then there's like a coupling on the subframe uh, which I'll show you there because the other one's still in place so you can see there um, not very easily I guess but you can see like that's where it runs and runs down the car well like I say being an earlier car this it has two so let's get the new one rooted up and then I'll bring you guys into the front of the car Right, so that's both of them out now. So you can see just kind of how tired they were getting. This is the, the new one. There's still got the one fitted in the car and this is the new one. So it just looks a lot fresher. Um, and obviously we want our handbrake to work. So the handbrake worked fine on one side, but obviously when I brought it out of storage, I noticed that we had this issue up here where you can absolutely see it's just over time, just, yeah, gone. So. Like I say, it's always worked really fine, and then I noticed it just didn't hold very well. And then I looked down and I saw, all oh, right, it's completely snapped. So, <laughs> um, obviously, you've got all new. That's basically where it snapped the bit that's inside the car where it's pinched on the floor. So, we'll get this one fitted up now. So, and then I'll show you them both in situ. Like I say, I can't really film under there, but what I'm doing in there. So, number one, I'm clearing out I'm in Bristol. So, yeah, that's still coming out of the car. Um, and I'm just going to put a bit of grease on these unions and just make sure. Free them up, oh sorry, quadrants, um, and get them all freed up. Uh, but yeah, get all this dirt out of here, there's loads of mud. So, but yeah, I could like show you all these new parts on soon. But yeah, a few tools. So, I'm gonna get this looped up first to get it moving because it was moving a little bit, but not enough. Um, on the other side, I greased it all up, but yeah, so it's stuck into it. I'm enjoying this mechanical work instead of welding. So, we are all connected up. So I just put the split pins in the bottom of the clevis pins here. One thing to note, the clevis pins are the exact same as what you use in your doors. Um, if anyone's taken a mini apart, they understand. So that's all clipped in up there. I've, on the quadrants, greased them all, got them all working nicely. Um, 
I found a new, another new part up there, you can just about see it. My exhaust hanger, <laughs> that snapped last year. Um, so that's been replaced. There's a few shiny things on here. Look at it. It's like a concourse car. It's actually, like I said in many videos, this car incredibly solid. It's all just under sealed. That's all mud from uh, from IMM. It's so clean under here, really. In, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, what the top looks like it is clean. Um, so I'm just going to put a bit of grease on here where it comes around the subframe. And then you can kind of see down there the two cables go on up into the car. And they're just nicked up for now. Um, but that's what we do. I've got my brake spanner out. Um, and I've just adjusted the drums up, so got a bit of just you know refreshing everything really. But yeah, I think we're just about done under here. Like I say, just gonna put a little bit of a uh, grease just where it passes through the subframe. You see on there, so yeah, you can see it all. Yeah, great product, fits together really nicely. So a bit odd seeing something shiny in here, but yeah, all good. Right, let's adjust it up top. I'll show you how that's done. All right, so that's them all fitted up, and I've adjusted them up. So. I put them to a point on this nut, so basically what I did was, probably right or wrong, you should get another spanner, but I got a pair of grips, force that forward, and then you can just wind that back in, really easy on these. Um, so I set them both to the same, so like I said, it's two cables on both sides. Um, I just need to put these covers back on, the cover up on there, so yeah, shouldn't be too bad to do. But yeah, so let me just jump in. We got the uh, official three click. So yeah, it's finally a nice feeling, so obviously we got the handbrake cover on as well the handle so now it's one two three it's lovely and the car is rock solid job done on to the next what's next in the box all right that so a couple of half inch on these and hopefully i will wrap some sealant around there let's get this next one on then that just leaves seat brackets oil filter so yeah let's crack them on that right so the next job is sort out this flowing exhaust i'm not sure if you can hear the timing chain rattling but you can kind of hear it there so that culprit that little clamp just down there so when you put your hand under it you can feel it flowing out of there so, Get that off. All right, so after many, many quarter turns, <laughs> um, the clamp is off. So what I've done is just with some sandpaper, I've just cleaned up the surface so where it's the dubit's gonna go. Um, got some basic. Assembly paste, I drop it on just as an added bit. Yeah, let's get this one back together and then we're uh, through the service. Right, there we have it. It feels like it went together a lot quicker than it came off, but I think the old bolts are a bit knackered. So yeah, the old clamp's gone. I completely forgot to show you the old clamp, but I've thrown it in the bin now, and um, I'm not bin dipping. So um, yeah, that's nice and solid. Nice seal around it. So I'm gonna leave just the sealant off around it for a little bit just to do its thing. Um, and then we'll fire it up. So yeah, should be good. Pretty happy with that. So that's one job down, on to the next. Which is dropping oil. Nothing fancy, but let's drop the oil. Alright, so I've uh, obviously taken the sun plug out and had a look there. So I've got a new copper washer. It's always good practice to swap these out rather worryingly. I mean, always, every mini I've had always had a little bit of metal on there, which is not good, I guess. But this one had a little bit more than I thought it would, so yeah. She's an old girl, she's tired, but runs men, so it's one of the problems that we don't need to address yet. So yeah, that's all going to be cleaned up. Got a new washer to go on there. So even though you might think the old one looks fine, honestly, trust me, 
it's for the sake of it, it's worth getting a new one. So while I was at Mini Mind, I grabbed myself a new one. Because obviously you can see where it's been tightened and stuff like that. So it's absolutely no point mucking about. So that's clean and ready to go. I'll let the oil drain out. Let's get the filter out. So like I said to you, let me just pick you guys up off the trestle. Um, slightly different oil filter on these, so I don't really know how much you can see. So if you look down there, move that out of the way. It's a different housing. Um, it's much the same as what's on the Morris Miners, but it's basically got a nut on the bottom of it, and you spin it off. So it's a bit more like a conventional car, I guess, these days, as in like an element instead of an actual filter swap. So uh, yeah, we'll get that sorted now. buzzing with that so he's running a lot quieter which is good if you're needing for the oil change so yeah great stuff nice all right so the last job of today is going to be fitting the seat brackets so these again obviously have been bought from mini mine they are a stainless bracket, which basically allow you to put the seat further back. So, get two in the kit, and basically, they slot into there and they give you more adjustment. So, let's whip the seat off, and let's get going. All we gotta do is just take the seat out, and then uh, basically raise it up. What a day it has been, but I'm really happy because I never get time to work on my own stuff really sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's nice to actually give this car some TLC. So quick recap of what we cracked on with. I know I said I wanted to get the doors done. Um, I've just not got the time. <laughs> so I want to get some new seals and some bits and bobs for them anyway, transfer this wood over and stuff like that. So I'll cover that in another video. Uh, what have we done today? New handbrake cables, front to back. All brand new. Um, I rear adjusted the brakes up on all four wheels as well. So I did the rears uh, just literally on the, the spanner. And same with the front. On the inside, we've just fitted these. That's the most recent, recent thing we put on. Um, and I'll show you how much that difference that makes. You can see how much further that seat's back already. That's a massive difference for me. Uh, on the front here, we've used some of our Morris Lubricants oil, golden film. Uh, so you heard it then running she's running really really nice really happy with it again um new filter obviously in the element and the new exhaust bracket down there on the back as i started the car up no blows whatsoever blinding smashed that really well made part um mini mine again smashed it on all the bits and pieces for this so oil still a bit left obviously doesn't take it all it's five liters does not take five liters we check it in the morning um obviously for a nip out in it but it was topped up it's running sweet really really happy so yeah we've achieved quite a bit so i'll bring you in the inside let's recap on where we've been yeah i'm really buzzing about seating position really really happy with it so that brings this video to a close so i haven't filmed everything i'm doing um, like i mentioned sometimes i'm on the driveway my family around me stuff like that not everyone wants to be on camera but 
really happy with the fact that she's got nice oil change. Um, plugs I haven't changed now because I only changed them a month ago. Um, when I brought it out of storage, I put some new plugs in it. Uh, leads are pretty new anyway, so I've not touched that. I've checked the rotor arm and things like that. I've just sandpapered it back up, but again, that's been mint. So it's got electro ignition on this car, so not to worry. Um, exhaust is a very big thing. Obviously, don't want exhaust leaks. Also, it's making the car feel a bit boggy and a bit slow. Um, not like it's a powerhouse anyway, but it's sorted now. Really happy with that. Yeah, and we've got a handbrake. So one, two, happy with that. So we've got a working handbrake, which is always good to have. I've just got to put them covers back on. I might treat it to some new ones yet. So mini mine, I'll be cracking on and getting some new ones of them. But yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. If you want to see more on this car, let me know. Like I say, I've got the rear doors to swap out. That's not going to be that fun. Let's just unbolt them and bolt them back on. But um, aesthetically, I think it helped the car. And also, like I say, we have got fumes coming in the car. So having a patina car is a bit of a challenge sometimes. Um, but at the same time, you kind of don't want it looking awful and to the point it's dangerous and affecting your health um this car like you say you've probably seen some of the footage just taken underneath it's really solid underneath it's a really really good car they don't make them like they used to i love a 70s mini anyone knows me knows i like 70s mini this is my favorite era of mini um late 60s to kind of mid to late 70s my favorite era of mini really really enjoy them um nice to work on nice solid vehicles so yeah that's it from the, me on this video. Um, if there's anything else you want me to sit and see on this car, let me know. Um, if you want an up-to-date walk around on it, give us a shout. There is a video on this car, but it has changed a little bit over time. Um, plans for it, what have we got coming? Not really a lot. I want to get the door sorted. Um, we're going to get the exterior all polished back up again, because believe it or not, it does shine really well, this car. Um, and we are planning on being Himley, at Himley with it. So um, if you want to come around, say hello and stuff like that. Um, There'll be a Simpsons Classics flag and a Cyborg will be there as well. So we're going to take them both to Himley, I think. It'd be nice to have them a run out. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back in it. This seating position is massive, so I think they're like a fiver, <laughs> these these are brackets. So yeah, if you haven't already, please go check out our sponsors. You've got Mini Mine um, and Frost Restoration. So Mini Mine, all your mini bits and bobs. There's a discount code along the bottom of the screen again now. Um, jump on there, 10% off when you spend £15 or more. So if you want a load of little bits and bobs, it soon adds up. So yeah, you can uh, get 10% off. That's um, a gift from Simpsons Classics, I guess. I want to give back to you guys, so please use the discount code and get these cars on the road. Um, a frost restoration for all your, your bits and bobs. But yeah, really happy. It's been a bit of a bitty video. Um, I've not filmed loads of my work. No one really wants to see us do an oil change. Anyone has got a mini knows how to do that. Um, but if there is bits you want me to cover in more depth, then we can we'll always do that. I've got enough cars to service and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm really happy. I adore this car. It's so cool. I do, I do love it. So um, yeah, now I feel like I've done a few bits to it and I feel a bit better about it. Uh, yeah, we're going to get some miles on her. So cracking little vehicle this. Love it. So catch you next one guys. Stay safe. Look after yourself. This was filmed on Easter Sunday. So I hope you had a great Easter.